Hi, David Hall with the weekly gold and silver coin report. It is Friday, October the 5th, 2012. So, we had uh, another good week for gold and silver and rare coins too. Uh, gold tested the almost 1800 level, very important level. I think if it breaks 1800 and holds, it's uh, uh, definitely a strong sign. Ended the week uh, down a little today, so it ended the week at 178060. Uh, it's up a little bit from last week. Silver, about the same, been in the mid to high 34s for a while now, 3449 was the close. So what's happening? I want to think a little longer term and I'm going to go out on the limb here and say that in the next five years gold will be 5,000 to 10,000 an ounce and I think it is not only a pretty sure thing, I think it's virtually 100 percent certain. I know it's 100% certain that gold and silver will be higher in five years than they are today. We have a national debt problem now doubling almost every four or five years. Uh, we have a problem with uh, a financial crisis throughout the world and it's a fiat money system and it is uh, all of the excesses of the past, excess debt, excess government spending, excess printing of money are coming to roost. So, so, so my prediction is that gold is a hundred percent to be higher in five years. It's a one of the few uh, financial trades that in my mind is guaranteed it doesn't happen very often, but this one is. Um, and I, what about that $5,000 to $10,000? Uh, I'm going out on a limb and, 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 and saying that that's what I'm almost certain is going to happen. So let's leave aside the scary thought of what the world will be like with gold at five to $10,000 an ounce. And let's just focus on uh, what we know and have somewhat control over. What's the coin market going to be like? Well, uh, coins a tangible asset and uh, obviously all the gold and silver related coins will go way, way up. More than that, the rare coins in those kind of uh, huge market run-ups, run usually they have in the past, the big ones in the past, early 70s, late 70s, early 80s, uh, Rare coins have tended ha, have gone up more uh, on a percentage basis than even gold. And right now, interestingly, rare coins are lagging. So, contemplate, if you will, say gold at $7,500 an ounce. What that means, what that means for your portfolio, um, and I guess what that means for your for your life and, and the way things will be in this country. But for the coin market. Uh, what, sh what should you do? Exactly what I hope you've already been doing. Buying some gold, buying some silver, buying some rare coins. So uh, think about those St. Gaudens, the uncirculated raw ones, or for a small premium, and by the way, when, when uh, bullion goes way up, premiums have a tendency to lag as they have now and then expand later. So at a small premium you can get an MS64, MS65 for example, graded St. Gaudens. Tremendous value uh, with uh, very little downside. Uh, think about those, uh, the junk silver 90% bags, uh, the uncirculated old silver dollars, 1878 to 1935. Uh, they're almost an ounce of silver, the old silver dollars. That's our favorite silver investment. And think about the, the rare coins. If, if you're not a, I don't have a huge budget, think about the uh, silver commemoratives, gold commemoratives. Uh, if you can spend a little more, think about 19th century type coins. And if you uh, want something more substantial, proof gold, Panama Pacific $50 gold pieces, uh, early gold, early silver, and, and some of the high-end type coins. 
um, I think that's the place to be. That's what Van and I are buying. And we, of course, uh, have a little gold and silver. We think everybody should. And so uh, contemplate what the world would be like, the coin market would be like at gold at five to 10,000 an ounce. Plan accordingly, because it's a high likelihood of happening. And uh, I'll talk to you next week. In the meantime, have fun and buy some gold.